Hey there, everyone. I just wanted to share um, a quick update that I just made to the preview build of 3.2. So uh, let's get into it. So I'm going to <clears throat> go into a, a clean view, games view. And let's see, we're going to create a new group or a layer and then um, canvas. Let's make it a fairly decent size. Align it like so. Actually, move it up a little bit, a bit more. All right, and then text scroller. We'll move it inside the canvas, and we'll make it the same size as the canvas. text scroller will use the game notes and let's see uh, let's take the delay out I just want to see okay font is very small. Let's change the font size. Formatting. Okay. All right. So far, so good. We go back to the canvas. And we're going to put a rotation effect on it. I think you know what I'm trying to do here. I think that's good. Now, if I switch to another game, it's not quite Star Wars because the text starts way at the top of the scroll area, right? It never starts at the bottom of the screen and then scrolls in, but we can do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'll go back to text scroller. Let's just change the uh, scroll delay, begin delay to 10 and count how many lines we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've added two more properties. <clears throat> I'm going to say <clears throat> add nine blank rows before the text and add nine after the text. And now I'm going to remove the delay. I'll make it 0.5. And now it starts scrolling from the very bottom. And with the extra blank rows, the text will actually disappear off screen, like so. Okay? And then it will repeat the cycle, like, like that. I mean, we can do some other stuff like, uh, uh, let's see, add a rectangle, make it a resource, uh, the fill color will make it a gradient, a linear gradient that is, let's see, 
um, make that black, make it transparent, do the same on this side, black, and then add two more points, I don't know, make them white, Uh, let's see, I don't know, 20, 20, what was I, that's set to white, make that 80%, uh, right, I think that's correct, uh, and again, go to the canvas, <clears throat> Go to opacity mask. I'm going to say gradient resource, pick rectangle one. And now we see a, a slight fade in from the bottom. And there'll be a fade out as it exits the top of the screen. So there you go. A very quick way of uh, simulating or emulating Star Wars scroller text. I wanted to do it, I couldn't do it without the property changes on the um, text scroller UI element and adding these two properties here, leading blank rows, trailing blank rows. So there you go. If you've wanted to do this, you can now do it. However, if you don't want a Star Wars type scroller and that's fine and you, you don't want it three-dimensionally or off-axis, um, having the, the leading blank rows, trailing blank rows, uh, just simply um, as it's scrolling up and down, that's totally fine too. Um, in some cases, you may want uh, one leading blank row and no trailing blank rows. It all depends on your themes, um, aesthetic and, and layout. But um, as you can see, it's very useful for this particular use case. All right. So there you go. That was, uh, <laughs> that was uh, an, an, added, an added feature or bonus feature to version 3.2. All right. So I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy that. And I'll be putting this version out on uh, Patreon. Okay.